Hey guys, this is John with the Alpha Channel Update here in Los Angeles, Friday, July, t July 12th, 2024. And I am here to show off my comic book to you guys. Ashley Fox, Ninja Baby, said The Last Valkyrie. And this is free. It's the first link here in the uh, description. You guys can download it. It's just a PDF, but it's great. I'm really happy with it. My best friend from animation school drew it for me. And uh, I wrote it. It's a continuation of the two novels I have that are up on YouTube right now as audiobooks. You can download them from Smashwords for free as eBooks. You can buy them from Amazon. They're not very much if you want to actually read the physical book. But this is the Trials of Ash, the uh, Legacy of a Mad Scientist and the Legend of Ashley Fox. So this is about this girl, Ashley. She's a Kung Fu superstar, and she gets sent up against the gang of serial killers. It's pretty insane. Oh, one more thing I want to talk about really quick. This is the robe, and I have to give this to my employer. Theft has spot skyrocketed so much in our state of California that now companies are stealing from other companies. If civilians can rob stores, companies can rob each other. My company that I work for had a situation where another company had a $7,000 bill, an outstanding bill, and instead of paying it, they just canceled the contract, hired someone else, and they just, they're just letting that bill sit. That's because we're allowing people to steal from stores. And so that's trickle down. If, you, if the king says corruption is good, the Jew king, Gavin Newsom is a Jew puppet. He's a Shabbos goy. And he, so now we have California is a criminal narco state. It really is. Corruption is legal here. So uh, my boss is feeling it. And he's passing it down to the employees. Get what this cunt did. He's charging every employee $50 to get their check. He hired a payroll company that takes $50 out of our checks to pay us. It's fucking absurd. This country's gone to hell in a handbasket. Fuck John Deere. Fuck Bud Light. Fuck the Jews. It's a beautiful day today. I hope you all got out to enjoy the summertime a little bit. We're going to start off with the Wildwood Tarot card for today. And that's the box. Here is the book. And the card is the Seven of Stones Healing. So you've got a uh, shaman girl and a warrior laid out, uh, being prayed over, or treated with herbs and spices <laughs> to heal, not to be cooked. And uh, you know, it's funny that cooking people, gotta tell you guys, today was a pretty hard day for me. Not because anything happened, just because I got really, really angry. I am disgusted with what this country has become. I despise what Western civilization has become, and it is 1,000% the fault of the Jews. The Jews did this to you, white people. The Jews did this to you, and until you wake up and do something to change it, it's going to continue. So I am all for a race war. Uh, Cliff High says that July 15th we should be expecting something to break, or late in the morning, like early morning of uh, July 16th. And what I suspect it's going to be is the Epstein client list. I think the Epstein client list is going to drop. And when it does, it's going to change everything. John Deere is already getting the Dylan Mulvaney Bud Light treatment. And we're going to see more of it and more of it and more of it. Boycott, divest, and sanction these Jews. Ghost them. Ignore them. Drive them out of your life. Refuse to use their money. Refuse to work for them. Whatever you can do. And then we're going to deal with all the rest of you what the Jews are doing in Gaza, what they're doing in Ukraine. They murdered all those white people in Ukraine out of ethnic revenge for what happened during the Second World War, and now they're going to try and profit by making money rebuilding that country. I despise them. Any God that is in charge of this world, when I die, I'm going to murder God. That's my goal. The sooner I die, the happier I'll be, because I'm going to fucking kill him. And I... All I am is liquid hate today. I am just liquid hate. From the ocean to the sea, the dry land must be free of Jews and blacks. So, continuing, we have Conan the Barbarian, number 72. This is actually a good one. Uh, Conan and Bella, I didn't look up who did the cover. It's actually a really nice cover. Maybe I'll put a little... Uh, a little graphic over here to say the name of the artist. I don't think it's John Buscema. Might be. Um, it's got a little in initial right here. G-C-E-C. -E 
I suspect is Ernie Chan, but I don't know who GC is. Might be Gary Kopweiss, that might be a K. Um, great front page. Conan and Bellet. The only thing about this one, now this is a standalone issue. Let me see if it's to be continued. I think it might be to be continued, but it starts off on its own. Yeah, it's to be continued. But get this, as good as it looks, and it looks great, this, this issue is so magnificent. This is only 17 pages. So it starts off with a fight uh, on a ship. Conan's pirates are attacking another ship, and Bellet tells them that once they've surrendered, not to continue killing them. She tells her black corsairs not to murder the captain once they surrender, once they throw down their weapons, uh, let them be. But one of her blacks decides he's going to kill one of these white guys, and Bella calls him out on it. She says, are you doing this because he's white? She doesn't say the word white, but are you attacking him because of his race? And uh, the, guy, the guy backs down, but then he's obviously harboring a grudge, which is interesting. The other fascinating thing about this is it's only 17 pages. Every other double page spread is an ad. So like this one that I just passed up, an ad. This is Joe Weider, uh, Arnold's down there, this is Lou Ferrigno right there. Um, so we have a two page spread, two page spread, and an ad, two page spread, and an ad, two page spread, and an ad, and it just goes on like this. Like I said, 17 pages of this issue. Now, I don't know if that's writing or art, or if they didn't have time, or what the situation is, but even at 17 pages, it holds up. It's a good story. And you know what I loved so much about yesterday's was that Conan took the time out of an adventure to help a friend. He was chasing Red Sonia and trying to help Bellet, and he took time out to help a friend, and that was just amazing. So here, Bellet finds out that in order to cure the witch doctor, who she's known all her life, uh, she needs to go back to her homeland, where she has been the daughter of a king, a daughter of a king and the goddess Death, and uh, her father was, she believes, murdered and replaced by his brother, kind of like Hamlet, only if, she's, if Hamlet had a daughter who went out to be a pirate. And so now she finds out that she has to go back home to fetch some herbs that had been stored in the royal bedchamber. And that's the only thing that will heal this dying uh, witch woman, witch doctor. It's a, it's a male, it doesn't look like a male, but it is. And so Conan and Bellet, uh, another ad, are gonna go home to her home city and try and fetch this vial of magic herbs to cure the dying witch doctor that bouts in all her life. So when they get into the city, there's, there's a series of confrontations and they pretend kind of like a Jet Li, yeah, Jet Li and uh, Jinbo and Shinbo in Twin Warriors. Twin Warriors is, by the way, prob or it's also called Tai Chi Master. It was called Tai Chi Master in China. Probably one of Jet Li's best movies next to Fist of Legend. It's my favorite. Uh, Jinbo is, Jinbo is Jet Li and Shinbo is the other guy and Shinbo dresses up like Shredder at the end. And uh, so they do a little thing similar to them. They pretend to be acrobats when they first get into the city and Conan trips Bella and she smacks him in the head with a log. He trips her because she was actually going to murder the guy who insulted her, a guard, a city guard. And then he laughs when he sees her smack Conan with a log and he agrees to take them to the, uh, to the royal palace to put on a show for the kings, because I guess they're bored. Kings are always bored. Two pages of ads. So, uh, let's see what happens here. This is them riding up to the palace, and I believe they get introduced as well. I might cut here so I can take a look at this. Dun, dun, dun. Yeah, they get introduced to the king, and the king, of course, ha is governed by a Stygian. The Stygians are like um, Egyptians, and this might be Greece or Crete or somewhere like that. Uh, maybe like, <clears throat> I don't know, any of those Mediterranean cities. But, so this king, who is the, the, the Belot's father's brother who stole the throne, doesn't recognize Belot because she was 10 when she left. And then there's this Stygian wizard who is there, who's, um, who's bossing the king around for another king, because this is a puppet king. He's ruled by the Stygians, who are the Egyptians, and that's this guy. Because there's always a wizard, and there's always a corrupt royal. And so this king decides he likes Bellet, and oh, 
The Stygian demands that Bella and Conan fight, and he hypnotizes Bella by touching her on the forehead. I think that happens right up here. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So here, Bella's talking shit, and down here, the Stygian touches her forehead, mesmerizes her, and forces her to fight Conan. Which goes on for a bit. So, the fight breaks up, and the king decides that Conan will serve in his army, and Ballet will serve in his bed. And he takes her to the bedchamber. So, Conan gets marched out at spear point. While this page looks really good, Ballet's here in the bedchamber with the king, and he's, you know, not really romancing her, but he is talking smack. And Ballet, <laughs> he says, why don't you take a seat? And we see Ballet pick up this nice chair, and she gives him one for Blast him, and then she announces herself, threatens him. The guards come running, I believe, but Ballet flees first. But so yeah, so here she threatens him, and he explains that her father has not been killed, that he's been taken as a prisoner to another city. And so that's why Ballet spares his life. Um... I think she's a little taken aback by it, and, you know, maybe she, they just didn't want to have her murder someone in cold blood. So she flees, Conan goes with her, and now they have a new adventure. They have to go free her father. First, they have to go cure the witch doctor back on their ship, but that's it. 17 pages, beautifully drawn, no complaints, a good story, it moved along, the flow was good. I think there was only one bit where I misread the, uh, the caption, the balloons, the word balloons. But it's a good book. Um, no complaints. My complaints are all about the world today and, and the Jews that run it. So see you guys.